I'm Tyrese Huey. I'm Jalen Sullinger. I'm Isaac Settles. I'm Amari Effion. And you're, you're watching the 270 tour of Thomas Worthington. Welcome to the 270 tour. We are here on another stop at Thomas Worthington High School. I am your host, Zach Fleer from 270 Hoops, and I'll be joined by Thomas Juniors, Tyrese Huey, Jalen Saunders, and Isaac Settles. Uh, we're going to start here with Tyrese. Tyrese, what's going on? Nothing much. How you doing? We're doing good. Um, you see, he's wearing a Michael Jordan shirt. Before we started filming this, I asked him who the GOAT was. He said LeBron. LeBron. So I was pretty disappointed you know, starting this conversation. But we'll get straight to it. You know, you've been here for a couple months. <laughs> mm-hmm. What's your move been like from, you know, Licking Heights, and what has it been like to adjust to, you know, a new part of town, a new school, and then, you know, new teammates? Uh, it's pretty smooth. School-wise, it's much better academically. Yeah, they pushing me. Um, new teammates, I like them pretty much. Yeah, new town. Yeah. And you knew, you knew some of these guys ahead of time. I mean, you played AAU ball with Jalen before, so having, you know, that kind of familiarity, what was that like when you did, you know, move here? Was it good to have someone you know on the team that you knew already? Oh yeah, it made the move well, a lot easier. So the like, chemistry's there. And then for you, you know, you add a different element to this team. What do you see, you know, your impact on this squad being, and what are some of your goals you have for your junior year? My impact. Uh, I'm gonna bring like a more of a defensive presence yep. to the team. My goals for my junior year, I'll make it as far as possible. And that's about it. And then you had a pretty big summer on the AU circuit with C2K Elite on the Under Armour circuit. Um, you picked up quite a few offers. What are some of the schools that have offered you? You know, Duquesne was just in here watching you. Um, what schools did you say are recruiting you the hardest? And then what visits do you have coming up? Uh, schools recruit me the hardest, probably definitely Duquesne, OU or Toledo. And the visits I got coming up, uh, probably OU. Yeah, that's it. And then what do, you know, what do college coaches say they like most about your game and just overall personality? Um, my high motor and that like I come from a good family a caring family and care about my grades and stuff like that And then I've seen you grow, you know, especially in the last several months But even in the last year I've seen your game grow quite a bit um, What areas have you seen improve the most and what are some things you're still working on to you know round out your game as a whole? Areas I improved the most um, definitely my perimeter game and uh, things I need to work on probably my footwork and That's about it yeah. Now, what can, what can opponents in the OCC, especially, you know, these schools, a lot of these teams aren't familiar with you. You mm-hmm. came from the LCL. What can they expect from you, and then what can they expect from your team this season? They expect from me a whole lot of dunks and a whole lot of blocks. They expect from my team a whole lot of shooting, a lot of just getting after it, really hard work. You're going to see it. You're going to see it pays off. We continue our stop here at Thomas Worthington High School. I'm joined by junior point guard Jalen Sollinger. What's going on, Jalen? How you doing? I'm doing good. And we'll just start off, you know, last year in the district semifinals, you guys got over a major hump. You upset mm-hmm. Hilliard Bradley. And then after that, I feel like you had your breakout moment here mm-hmm. in Central Ohio. You know, against Pickerington North on the big stage, 33 points. Um, what was that moment like for you? You know, getting over that hump, getting to the district finals, and then once you got there, really established yourself as an elite player in the area. Yeah, uh, being Hilliard Bradley after they beat us twice in the regular season, and they really handled us. So, like, beating them felt really good. That probably my favorite win so far in my career, okay. honestly. And, uh, you know, against Pick North, it wasn't enough to win, but at the end of the day, I played well. And uh, we looked to just take the, take the season game by game and just see what we can do this year. So. And then you, you know, you come from a very long line of, Great basketball talent in history. Uh, your grandfather, Satch, great player at Oberlin back in his day, and then a state championship coach at Northland you know, with your uncle, uh, Jared McDonald's All American, NBA draft pick, first team All American at Ohio State, and then even your dad and your uncles. Mm-hmm. Um, coming from that Sollinger family and knowing that that name holds so much weight, what are those expectations like for you? And then what's the most that you've learned um, from those people in your family? I mean, I've always had the expectations, you know, coming from that uh, family. And uh, I got a lot of people in my corner and like they keep me humble and, you know, they got the blueprint, really. So I just take whatever I can from them and run with it. And your dad, JJ, he was a great player here back in his day, won a district title, went on, played Ohio State, played at Arkansas. What are some things that he's really instilled in you, you know, your whole career coming up? And um, what's it like having a guy like that as your dad and, you know, always there for you? You know, it's it's a blessing, really. Um, 
he always preaches attitude and effort because like when I was little, you know, I always had an attitude problem. Like I would always get down on myself and my play would show and I would just be playing bad. And, you know, he would just always be lifting me up. He was always positive and always like he's always been in my corner, my number one fan, along with my mom, you know, the best dad I could ask for. Really, he's really like I wouldn't be here to, without him. Absolutely. And, you know, this year you guys have a much different roster, a mm -hmm. lot of top end talent, more depth, again, more expectations. How is this year different from the previous two, you know, knowing that you guys have a bigger target on your back than what you're used to? Mm -hmm. You know, it's really not different. We haven't really won anything yet. You know, we got a lot of hype, you know, and last year we had that hype, you know, me and Isaac being only sophomores and Ben White and uh, some good seniors. But um, this year we got a lot of key guys and we're just hungry and we want to play the right way and, you know, make some noise. And then outside of, you know, you mentioned Isaac, you got Tyrese. What are some guys on this roster you think are going to step we up? We got a lot of sleepers. I know I could go on and on about our team. You know, we got uh, Maurice Collins. He's yep. a three-year player on varsity, but he got sick last year. But I'm telling you, he's the real deal. We got Amari Effion, transfer from Pick North. Hasn't really played too much, but he's coming in, playing a big role for us. And we got a couple of good freshmen that could really give us some good minutes. Joey. Zalewski, Zalewski yep. Caleb Miller, both Miller. knockdown shooters. Uh, we got some hustle guys like Zach Masseray. Big fan of him. Great on-ball defense. Landon lays his butt off all the time. So we got a lot of guys that can help. Absolutely. Everybody can. And then you guys are playing in that classic play-by-play -play classic. LeBron Jr. is going to be there. It's mm -hmm. going to be crazy. Epic. What are you looking forward to with that event, getting to play a nationwide arena in front of you know, you know, all those people? I'm just looking forward to it, you know, going to war with my brothers against a good team in South. You know, it's going to be a good game and I really can't wait. You've begun to attract some mid-major interest. You have offers from Ohio and Kent State. What programs would you say are recruiting you the hardest right now? What visits have you been on? And when college coaches talk to you, what are some things they talk about that they like about you? Um, OU is really, uh, really recruiting. Um, Toledo, Miami, Kent, you, of course. Uh, a lot of the MAC schools and yep. some other conferences, but um, when I talk to coaches, you know, they just, they talk about uh, always being that leader. You know, at my size, I got to lead with the best of them. And uh, I'm trying to take that, uh, take that challenge, take that challenge up this year and show them that I can be that leader that they're wanting and uh, just take whatever they give me and applying it, really. And what can opponents and, you know, opposing teams, what can they expect from you and, you know, your team this season? Uh, just expect us to play hard and uh, just try to win every game we can. We're just hungry and want to win. That's all. All right, here we go. All right, we're back here at the 270 tour at Thomas Worthington. I'm with Isaac Settles. Isaac, I talked to Jalen about this game, but you had a really big moment in that district semifinal upset <laughs> over Harry Bradley. You made some big shots in that game, helped you guys get the win. What was that moment like for you, and how are you going to use that to build off, you know, to have a better season this year? Uh, going into the game, Coach told us it's going to be a tough game because, you know, it's Bradley. They've been good for the past however many years. Right. And just, like, the moments in them shots, it was just, like, one of us had to do it was bound to happen. We just had to play as a team and just get the dub. So I do have so the addition of Tyrese Huey and Mario F. Young, they came in from different programs. This team's different now. Mm -hmm. In what ways do you see this team being different from last season? Uh, last season we had Ben White, which was a big part of our offense. And then he graduated. Uh, so now we got Tyrese came in and kind of filled that spot. But Ben can do things that Tyrese can't do, but Tyrese can also do things that Ben can't do. So we lost one of our best shooters, Charlie Mamlin. He also graduated, but now we got places like people like Maurice and uh, Amari filling the spots too, and Jeff. And what type of role do you see yourself making on this team? You know, what you're six five, you can defend almost every position, provide great energy. What are you going to provide to this team this season to help you guys get over that hump? I feel like it's going to be the same rules last year: defend, get rebounds, score when I have to, distribute, you know, be a playmaker. Same thing. We talked about Bradley. They're in your division. It's an OCC Cardinal division. They've really dominated it the last couple of years. What's it going to take for you guys to get over that hump and you know bring home your first division title since 2003? Really, it's just playing as a team. We all have. We know we got talent. Everybody knows we got talent. We just got to play as a team, build chemistry, get everybody involved, and just do what we got to do. We've had coaches in here quite a bit, you know, in and out, watching you, you guys on your team. For college coaches that are watching this. You know, what would you, how would you describe yourself as a player and what things would you provide to a college program you know, if they did take a chance in recruiting? Uh, I'd be a hard worker day in and day out. I've never missed anything. I'd be there. I'd help out with things. I'd just do what they have to do to uh, make the team successful. 